Uh, welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I found a great article about mono black uh, infect in modern that I will link you to. An article on pure entity from the Becoming a Modern Man column. It was really good and I learned some stuff from it. So I made some changes to the deck, not all of them. And I'm playing against Will, but Will has a, a bad uh, throw today so he can't film. So we are not doing a double film thing. This is a decent hand. Uh, I'm going for the uh, Inquisition here. I think he is on Blue White Tron. Because that was his article. On uh, MTG Strat. Our site. Yesterday. He mulligan us to 6. That means that we must really attack him. And now it's Splinter Twin. Uh, converted cost mana. Uh, it's the Pestamite then, right? Yeah, he has Splinter Twin, Kiki Kiki, Dispel. Uh, Millhouse Splinter Twin. It is my fourth match with this deck. I am 2 1. Steam went. Uh, further Inquisitions will get the Pestamite, and that's probably good. No, I took the Pestamite. I meant uh, I meant the Pestamite because I have no memory. But uh, I take the <laughs> the dispel. So I need to have two kill spells. And uh, actually, how good is Tragic Slip in this deck? I'm not really sure yet. Uh, we are wrenching his mind here. So one of the combo pieces, Kiki Kiki and Dispel, goes away. And I probably should just make him randomly discard a card here. Uh, and I will. Oh, oh my god, he has the combo! Except that he can't protect it. Uh. So now his only card is... Ah, he doesn't have any cards. <laughs> Alright, let's see if he can recover from this. That tragic slips doesn't look very good. So I think I'm bringing them out. And I'm starting to uh, consider why they are actually in my deck. Is it just pauper sickness that made me put them in there? This is not the fastest clock in the world, is it? So a poison counter. Now I need like that guy. That is what I need. That guy. You know him, you love him. It's Phyrexian Crusader! How are you going to deal with him? And now suddenly my clock looks a lot better. Here comes another nasty dude and I will kill him too with Tragic Slip even. Steam went, and I have no idea what this card is. But now it's just beat down. Beat down. So 
second worst mirth second which is the worst which is the worst matchup for splinter twin you guys all know that right but i do not We are waiting for the answer. Which is the worst matchup? Uh, Yund, of course. That's because Yund uh, do what we do. They uh, discard stuff and attack with nasty creatures. They are just better at everything. But I feel fairly confident here. <laughs> Doesn't have a card in hand, which is good. It's a creature! A blink moth. A blink moth and an ink moth sounds very different, right? One of them is blinking and one of them is made of ink. That's two entirely different moths! They just rhyme. I'm upset right now. No, I'm not. Uh, okay, is this game or does he have a nasty surprise for us? It's a pestamite! But it does make him live another turn. So this is a matchup that uh, Splinter Twin does not want. <laughs> ah, goddamn Tapper dudes! How do I kill that guy? I can't kill that guy. Uh, oh, I can because I have flying. No, I, I can't, but I can get past him because I have flying and he doesn't. So, Deceiver at Zark. So if he draws Splinter Twin now, he wins. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so the tragic slips worked pretty well anyway. What do I want? Uh, I don't know if abrupt the case or that good. Uh, Golgari charm. The rest sounds good. Yeah, let's do it like that, right? But Abrupt Decay can kill whatever creature he has. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we are gonna do. This is such a powerful combo deck. Uh, just a two card combo and you have like seven of each card. That's powerful. I would love to play Splinter Twin, but I sold my Kikikis at the peak. And I'm waiting for Modern Masters. Which makes me play these budget decks. Look at that. A draft from Chris. Uh, okay, this is not very interesting, but I will play it. <laughs> and now I need to cast the Marsh Flats. 
Get Death Right Shaman into play. So he has something to do. And it's a Verdant Catacomb, right? Because... Sorry, Overgrown Tomb. Uh, yes. Because life doesn't really matter against him. Unless he has Grim Lava Mancers, but I don't think he does. So I am uh, wrenching mind, I guess, then. Uh, because I can't do both. <laughs> yeah. This looks dangerous. We are trying again. We have this mana left for the disfigure at the end of turn. And we know his supply of those spells are not limitless. <laughs> but now he can cast might protect it and that will be a bother and I think that's exactly what he's going to do uh, luckily I have an inquisition of Kosilek And I can't deal with the Exarch, uh, so I really should have brought in Abrupt the Case instead. I'll make a note of that. So, I take out Tragic Slip. And I take out this figure. Uh, but I'm dead, right? Here, even if I wrench mind, I'm not getting anywhere at all. And everything would have been different had I had uh, my uh, Abrupt Decays. <laughs> so, let's bring them in. And take out the disfigures. Is this really the sideboarding I want? Let me know if you think anything differently. Yes, I want to play first. There is the Rune Enchanter Pike. I'm going for this. He takes a mulligan. To five. Oh, I want to crush your will! This is MTG Strat, Modern Masters. Okay, so we know he has a Pestamite and some lands. Uh, 
So we are getting the overgrown tomb again. Yes. I'm playing the pike. <laughs> and the wrench mind. Even if it gets only lands. So now he has to have the combo. And even if he does... He needs a land. So he needs to draw really perfectly for this to work. And once I have equipped uh, the Crusader, do I really equip here? Yeah, I do have one creature kill and that's all I need. And now I actually will know exactly what I need. I suppose that means he's now casting the Pestamite. Here he comes. And that probably means that his last card is worthless. It's a bolt. Uh, mm -hmm, okay. Uh, so I need to kill the Pestamite, and we are starting afresh almost, but I have a destruction spell, he doesn't, and I now have a pike for a two turn clock. Protected by this abrupt decay, I think I'm going to win this. Starting to like this deck more and more, and we now know that he cannot win. And I'm getting some wins with this deck. Uh, thank you for watching Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I've been playing Modern with Mono Black Infect. And check out the link in the show notes for a great article about Mono Black Infect. Thank you for watching.